Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us at FCC online. Uh, we're really excited to have you with us. Um, we're just going to take a couple of minutes um, to go over some announcements for the church um, and let you know what's happening over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we've got uh, an exciting day today uh, because not only do people get to hear me talk again, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's excitement for every day, right? But our kids' ministry is back in person service uh, here at the church. Actually, if you're watching this and you've forgotten that and uh, you live somewhat close, you may actually still have time uh, to get here yeah. to get the kids into service. But we're uh, opening up nursery, opening up uh, preschool, and the elementary age. Uh, there's a video that's in the in the links. There's a link to it in the comments is what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> that uh, that kind of detail all the safety procedures and the guidelines and everything that we're following with the kids so we're excited uh, to get them back into uh, the kids church if you're not quite comfortable just yet with bringing your kids back we still have a video the, the kids video as we've been putting out this whole time on our youtube channel so that's available for you as well yeah, and as for the youth, that um, we are meeting again this Sunday night um, and uh, meeting at 6 p.m. And we're going to be downstairs uh, having some games and fun and diving into a new topic. So we'd love for you to come along and check that out. Um, but also make sure you do come along because we've got another couple of trips coming up over the next few months. And uh, we want to make sure you guys are aware of those and you get the necessary forms and all the information for those. So if you need to go on trips, uh, make sure that you're here for that because um, that's your new way that you'll yeah. hear about it. So yeah. make sure you come along. No, we've uh, got a little bit of an announcement. We're in the month of October. Can you believe this is October? Oh, that's it's crazy. And listen, <laughs> congratulations. You have survived. <laughs> until October 2020. Uh, but one of the things that we've, uh, you know, we've had to adjust a lot of things, reframe a lot of things, and unfortunately uh, cancel a lot of things uh, because of the COVID-19 situation that we find ourselves still in uh, to the, at this point. Uh, one of those that's uh, that we're going to have to cancel for this year is our trunk or treat. That's something that we look forward to every year, and, and we, we hate to have to do this, but in, um, as we look at what's best for the safety of our community, um, and that, that is a huge event. I mean, just thousands of people come through that. So we just feel like it's in the best interest of the safety of everyone involved, um, not only in the church, but in the community as well, to just cancel that for this year. We do look forward to and are already planning our 2021 trunk or treat. So just to let you know, no trunk or treat at FCC Grayson this year. Yeah, and as many of you are aware, um, we have like a database and a, and a whole pile of information about people in church so that we can keep up to date with uh, who comes along and who we can contact if, if, if necessary. And uh, we go over that every few months and make sure that it's up to date all the time. And um, so if you think that your information is already there or if your information isn't in our database, Regardless of whether it's there or not, make sure you, you click on the link and let us know uh, and update any information that you might have um, just so that we can keep on top of all of that, uh, all of that stuff so that we know who's coming along. Um, uh, we've been excited to see that plenty of people are coming back to our services and people are watching online, um, so we'd love to just keep all of that up to date. Absolutely. Uh, one thing that we uh, really passionately believe in here at First Church is that as believers, we need to constantly be taking steps forward in our faith, in our walk with Jesus Christ, uh, in that maturing process. You can call it next steps. You can call it roadmaps. You can call it whatever you want to call it. But we believe that there needs to be a constant state of movement and growth in our spiritual journey. A couple ways that we do that here, uh, that we highlight here, one is life groups. That's a significant step. You know, that, that really is a, a significant area of growth and spiritual maturation for us. So we encourage you guys to be a part of that. Another thing that we do, uh, celebrate recovery. Uh, you know, that's, it's easy for us to kind of compartmentalize these things and think, well, this is its own separate thing. And that's, it's all about moving us forward in our spiritual journey. And the Celebrate Recovery, uh, you know, Tuesday evening, six o'clock, it's, it's more than just addiction recovery. It's any hurt, habit, uh, or hang up that we have that causes separation uh, in our relationship with Christ and our relationship with others. So uh, get plugged in, get involved, take that next step, get on that roadmap, that avenue, that boulevard, whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be hopping back into service here, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, we're continuing our study in Redeemer, mm -hmm. uh, so where, where are we at this week? We are talking about adoption 
this week. We've you know done the the response a couple weeks ago of repentance, and then we mm. talked about there being a result of that. Mm. Uh, last week we talked about justification and how through Jesus Christ we are found innocent. Believe it or not, we're found <laughs> innocent in the eyes of God. Uh, now we're going to look at the identity portion of it mm. because I think that for me, anyhow, it's I can wrap my mind around I've been forgiven. Mm. I've even I can even wrap my mind around the fact that he sees me as innocent now. Mm. But the thing that I struggle with is that identity mm. of just knowing that I'm now a son. You know, you're a son. You're a son or daughter of God. And that's just, it's an amazing thing to be adopted. And so we're going to look at biblical adoption this morning. Oh, very exciting. Well, we'll see you in there. And let's join Kennedy and the worship team for that. Our Redeemer speaks. Named God of the angel armies, the Holy of Israel. They remembered that God was their rock, that God most high was their redeemer. He paid the ransom for his people. He ordered his covenant kept forever. He's so personal and holy, worthy of our respect. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Because of the sacrifice of the Messiah, his blood poured out on the altar of the cross, we're a free people free of penalties and punishments chalked up by all our misdeeds. And not just barely free either, abundantly free. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today, This scripture has been fulfilled in your